Hello and welcome back. So far, we have learned a lot about routes in Angular. Now, the only thing which is left to learn about routes is the route cards. So, in this lecture and in next few lectures, we are going to learn about route cards in Angular. In this lecture, you will learn what is a route card, what is its use, and what are the different types of route cards we have in Angular. We use Angular route cards to control whether the user can navigate to or away from the current route based on a given condition. In simple terms, Angular route cards helps us to secure the route or to perform some action before navigating into a route or leaving the route. We have learned how to configure our routes and navigate to different parts of our application using Angular routes. Now, allowing the user to navigate to all parts of the application is not a good idea. And we need to restrict the users until the user performs a specific action like login. And Angular provide the route cards for the same purpose. One of the common scenario where we can use a route card is authentication. So let's say we want our app to stop the unauthorized users from accessing the protected routes. So let's say when a user clicks on the buy course button of the course, in that case, the user should be redirected to the check-in page only if the user is logged in. If the user is not logged in, in that case, he should not be redirected to the check-in page. In that case, he should be redirected to login page first so that he will first log in and then he can buy the course. And for such scenarios, we can use Angular's route cards. There are also other use cases where we can use a route card. So for example, we can use a route card to confirm the navigational operation. We can also use a route card to ask user whether he wants to save the changes before moving away from the view. We can also use a route card to allow access to certain parts of the application to specific users. And we can use route cards for validating the route parameters before navigating to different route. And we can also use a route card for fetching some data before we display the view to the user. Okay, so these are some typical use cases where we can use Angular's route card. Now, in Angular, we have five different types of route cards. And these are can activate, can deactivate, resolve, can load, and can activate child. And you will learn about each of these routes, their use, and how to implement them in our coming lectures. In this lecture, let's quickly have a high-level overview of how we can implement a route card in Angular. So the first step for implementing a route card or creating a route card is to create a guard service. Okay, so we can create a route card as a service. So let's say I'm creating a route card called course route service. So this is a service class. Now this service class should implement the route card interface which we want to use. So for example, let's say I want to use this can activate route card. In that case, this service class which we are creating, it should implement this can activate interface. And then this service class also needs to implement the can activate method, which this can activate interface provides. So as you can see here, inside this course route service class, I'm implementing this can activate method, which this can activate interface provides. And from within this method, we need to return a Boolean value, either true or false. If we return true from this method, in that case, the navigation process will continue. But if we return false from here, in that case, the navigation process will stop and the user will not be redirected to that route. And these three steps are same for implementing all the route cards. So for example, if you want to implement can deactivate route card, in that case, you will create a service class which will implement can deactivate interface. And that can deactivate interface will have a can deactivate method. So you will also have to implement that method. And that method will also return a Boolean value true or false. If it returns true, then the navigation process will continue. Otherwise, the navigation will be stopped. Okay. Then we need to provide that service using this providers array in the app module. So this is the fourth step. And finally, we can use our service, which is 
implementing the route guard interface on any route which we want to guard. So in this example, I'm using this scan activate route card and to this scan activate route card, I have assigned this course route service, the service which is implementing the can activate interface. Okay, so in these five simple steps, we can create a route card and use it on a route. In the next lecture, let's learn in detail how to create a can activate route card.